This is Tomo News for Friday, October 6th. Apple investigating swelling iPhone 8 batteries. Nearly half a dozen iPhone 8 Plus owners from around the world have seen their devices cracking and swelling. The swelling in these cases reportedly occurs when the iPhone 8 Plus's lithium-ion battery is charging. Apple says it is investigating the problem and is in possession of one of the damaged phones. Five iPhone 8 Plus owners in Canada, Greece, Japan, Taiwan and Hong Kong have reported similar issues. According to Apple news site Mac Rumors, it's common for a small number of devices out of the millions made to have some battery issues. Last year, Samsung was forced to recall hundreds of their Galaxy Note 7 phones after users reported battery problems, some of which caused devices to combust. Where in the world is Santa? Definitely not in the North Pole. Sorry kids, Santa Claus is dead and apparently buried in Turkey. Archaeologists have found an intact shrine underneath the Demre Church in Turkey's Antalya province and suspect it to be the final resting place of St. Nicholas. The area where the church is located is reportedly the same region where St. Nick was born during the 4th century. It was there that the Jolly Saint formed the reputation for gift-giving that eventually gave rise to the legend of Santa Claus. After his death in 343 AD, the saint was interred in the church and lay undisturbed until the 11th century. It's widely believed that Italian sailors then took his remains in 1087 and transported them to Bari, where they lie to this day in the Basilica di San Nicola. According to documents obtained by the Turkish archaeologists, however, the remains that were taken supposedly belonged to a local priest. Though many are skeptical, the Turkish team is determined to prove their theory right and will soon begin the arduous task of removing an intricate mosaic tile by tile in order to get to the untouched tomb. Good luck! Outrageous gun stats straight out of the U.S. of A. In the wake of the deadly mass shooting in Las Vegas, gun violence and ownership have once again taken center stage in public discussions. So just how passionate are Americans for their firearms? Here are the numbers. According to the U.N. Office on Drugs and Crime, the U.S. had the highest rate of gun ownership in 2012, with 88 guns for every 100 people. Yemen is second on the list, but trails far behind with 54.8 guns. Results from the 2015 National Firearms Survey revealed that handgun ownership in particular has increased by 70 percent from 65 million in 1994 to 111 million in 2015. America is one of the countries where the right to bear arms is protected by the Constitution. It's also incredibly easy to arm yourself. In 2007, the Small Arms Survey found that half the world's civilian-owned guns were in the U.S. 50% of these were owned by a mere 3% of American adults, according to an unpublished survey from Harvard and Northeastern University. Mass shootings take place in the country more than 11 times as often as other developed nations. One study estimates over 100,000 gunshot victims and 30,000 gun deaths annually, which totals to 2.8 billion U.S. dollars in hospital expenses. If the statistics show anything, is that America is rife with guns, and that's a right protected by the Constitution. However, the important question to ask is, how to keep them from hurting innocent people? Don't have a cow, mankind. New data from a U.S. government study says that gassy and burping cows are warming the planet much more than previously thought. Here's why. Research published in the journal Carbon Balance and Management says that previous data on methane emissions from livestock were off by 11 percent. Previous research failed to account for developments in agricultural land and animal use. After a cow eats, the food is digested by microbes in its gut and methane is produced as a result. Methane gas absorbs much more sunlight than carbon dioxide and, as a result, is a significant contributor to rising global temperatures. Just how many cattle are there in the world? 1.5 billion. Oh, crap. 